This day here in Toronto, live shot of Chinatown there. Good morning, Canada. It's Meredith with you, and it is a beautiful day down in Disney World. It's time to check in with our two dudes who are down at Walt Disney World in Florida. And yesterday, I heard Devo and Frank, you went behind the scenes. We love this fun to learn more about Disney's agriculture and what happens in our greenhouses. So how cool was that? Frankie, again, in your element. In my element, we just saw a fellow Canadian here walking by this morning. And what was great, I was in my element, but I got to bring Devo into my world. Hey, you know what, Mayor? Honestly, I nerded out a little bit just like Frankie did. He was, I mean, he's so knowledgeable and all of that. But Megan, who took us around, I mean, she knows that place inside and out. There's so many greenhouses there. But I got to learn, which is really cool. You know, look, it's a privilege for us to come down here. We've been here. This is our third time yep. in a year, right? Let's be very real about that. But there's so much to see, and we got to see something different that we hadn't seen before. It's more than just the rides. We went behind the seeds. You got it. Tell, Tell them a little bit more about that because yes. it was really cool. So this is at Epcot. Epcot's like a walk around the world, but there's the land pavilion that's there. And this is a really great place to educate yourself, not only about agriculture, but about the environment. And so we saw many different things like aquaponics, hydroponics, aeroponics, and you got to learn all about that. And there was so much more to see as well. Should we show them? Yeah, let's show them. Take a look. Our beautiful creative greenhouse. This is our aeroponic system. Yeah. Everything in the greenhouse the is grown hydroponically. Oh yeah, the roots. There's are no dirt. There's no soil anywhere in the greenhouse. Look at those roots there, Devo. The roots. You know what I have? I've got roots oh. too. <laughs> they will head over to Disney's Animal Kingdom, so the animals don't mind if they're overripe. So we are in our production greenhouse. Look at the little seeds that just, see, look, there's your little seed heads right on the That's top right. right there. Look at those guys. So these are microgreens. So they're just the sprouting seeds. These are going to head off to our Disney chefs. We just take that whole cookie sheet, load it up onto a baker's rack, and these will be harvested in a couple days. There are four tables growing lettuce here behind me. We have two different varieties of lettuce, the red oak leaf and then the butter bib head. Uh, and today is harvest day. We harvest one table of lettuce each week. Devo, Megan, holy squash! Oh, I know, these are our winter melon. Wow. The wow. heaviest that we've ever harvested was 95 pounds. 95 pounds. These are often eaten in Southeast Asia. Okay. And once they're harvested off the vine, they'll stay ripe all winter long. So that's wow. why they're called winter melon. These are used to kind of bulk up food items. I think of the way I would put potatoes into a stew, that they would chop this up, add it into food. That was my question. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here, it, our Disney chefs aren't going to make much use of this, but our elephants and our rhinos over at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So this is our aqua cell. This is fish farming or seafood. You'll notice the red color. Our greenhouse has turned red. We're reducing the amount of light that's coming into all of this water environment. Do you know what that means for us? It reduces algae. It reduces algae. He is on it. Disney has a huge commitment to sustainable seafood. All of the seafood that we serve in our restaurants is certified sustainable. Do you guys want to feed fish? Yeah, you go ahead, Devo. Put your hands over the water. You're going to love this. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Just yep. toss it. Toss it. Spread yep. it out a little bit, though. <laughs> That's why I let Devo do it. <laughs> the splashing is a complimentary souvenir. Inside of our tropics greenhouse, just like the tropics of the world, huge variety of plant life. Um, we feature over 80 different species of plants. So where are we now? We are in our spice garden. Uh, like the tropics, so much of our spices are coming from places that we don't live. Uh, so here we're showing off a lot of these spices grown around the world. Dragon fruit, look at that. Dragon fruit. Oh. Really popular in our smoothie shots. Pepper Mickey! Pepper Mickey! Finishing off in our spice garden with our oldest plant in the greenhouse, Pepper Mickey. Amazing. There's the pepper. And there's the Mickey. <laughs> That was that was like my favorite thing ever. Yeah. Because you know I got to show you and let you experience it as well. And there's so much to learn. I learn and you were learning too. Oh, I learned so much, man, and seeing all the different, you know, the vegetables, the produce there, the spices and all the different plant life that was there it was really cool. You know, she mentioned about those 
the lettuce there at Tiffin's Restaurant here at Animal Kingdom, yeah. that's where that is going to be served in the salads, which is cool. I'm like, I kind of want, because it's fresh. It was harvest day yesterday, yeah. which means it's right there right now. So, I mean, it's 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 really cool. It's all kind of self-contained, sustainable is what they're doing here. And, and that's at Epcot. And it's a tour that you can sign up for if you come down this way. Uh, it's about a half hour walking tour. Yep. Uh, and, you know, it's pretty air conditioned as well. So it cools you yeah. down a little bit. If you don't just go to the Land Pavilion, you could also take a ride through there as well. We have so much more to come here on BT as well, not only for the next several days, but also our viewers. So many surprises for the viewers, that one as well. We do, yeah. We have our contest winners, 16 of them that are down here with us. Tomorrow we go to Typhoon Lagoon. We're going to the water park because why not? Tarps off? Yeah. On a Thursday? Gun show. Tarps off Thursday. It just makes sense. Okay, we'll see, maybe, maybe. But we've got so much going, uh, I gotta go, okay. We're gonna go to the gym, okay. take a quick break. Yeah. Send it back to the studio after the break. We'll see you tomorrow once again. <laughs> Frank so is already doing his push-ups. There we go, that's for, Getting Ten ready for. Is the beach that away? We'll find out tomorrow.